Welcome back to Brush Up Your Game, and I'm David, and today, Black Cat in uh, Marvel United. See, I always felt like Black Cat was a, a little derivative of Catwoman from Batman. Uh, and to be fair, I always thought Catwoman did it a little bit better, um, but that might be my nostalgia talking from the uh, TV series. Uh, Black Cat has her moments definitely um want to be bad girl kind of reformed uh, being a superhero using her powers for good like all of these things right redemption story it, it's it's what we as a society tend to be about um, i like the model in marvel united really cool model lots that can be done with her uh, and more so as a character and, and you got to remember this is season one but I, I like that there are six special cards. Sure, it's it's three, but two copies of each. Now, what gets weird or different is she doesn't have that many symbols, right? She has four moves, she has three heroics, and she has five punches. But yet she's flexible, and she's super adaptable, and, and we're going to get into that. Uh, before we do, you know... It, you, you see in her specials have either a single heroic, a single punch, or a single move. She's got the double punch card. She's got a move punch. She's got a single move. Eh. She's got a single heroic. I, I struggle with these single cards, given that six of her cards, granted they're specials, but half of her cards are already single token or single symbol cards. It, it just... It, it, it draws her back. It, it holds her back from being as good as she could have been. Um, but, but let's get into what she can do. Uh, cat Luck. When the next Master Plan card is revealed, you may put it on the bottom and draw another one instead. So, I like that this is reactive, right? You can evaluate in that moment. Where are we? What I don't like is that other uh, characters are doing this better. You're peeking at it. You're deciding right then and there in that instance. What do we like? And more so, you get to look at it and have future knowledge if you want to keep it on top. Uh, so that's my take. Cat luck is still okay. Right, being able to say, "Oh, that's really bad. That's gonna that's gonna end the game for us, or that's gonna put us in a really bad spot." Let's put that on the bottom. Cat claws, very much the same. In fact, exactly the same. When the next master plan card is revealed, you may put it on the bottom and draw another one instead. It's exactly the same card. So really, she's got four cards that all do the same thing. Is that really that important? I not that much I, I think there's a, a time and a place there's a few villains where this can really help you but they're not that many i can see rhino has the potential to be that useful um there's a few uh i would say green goblin even has moments just to control the movement um yeah, but for the most part, the, the 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 movement control is really the biggest aspect, and that's if you kind of stay together as a group. Uh, that's where Black Cat can serve the best purpose. Now, what I think is redeeming for her are these cat instincts. Gain any combination of two punch, heroic, or movement tokens. So that's why I say she's very adaptable. You take... All the symbols that she has. Four movement. Three heroic. Five punches. She's really going to have four more of something. Fill it in. How you want. How you need. In the game. How it's going. If you play with the Guardians. She fits in very nicely as the pseudo Guardians of the Galaxy member. Because she's gaining tokens. And she's gaining them herself. She doesn't need somebody else to give her the tokens, but now she has tokens and she can uh, discard tokens to get more tokens. 
she can play with those um, those locations and really make them better. Uh, still, my, my my takeaway from her and, and in really trying to make her work is if you need the the safety of not having the worst of the worst bad luck come out um, black cat will help i feel like black cat helps the the new younger players the most because they can react to, oh, that's a really bad situation. And I'm not trying to make fun of anyone when I say that. I'm simply saying, I think for the strategic gamer, the the peaking, or not even the peaking, the four times in a game, being able to see the card and go instantly, nope, um, it, it's a bit much. Whereas most of the time characters are doing it once or twice. Um, but I like the tokens. In fact, I love the tokens. I, I love being able to kind of customize my gameplay in the moment and go, oh yeah, I could really utilize more heroics. You know, the, the characters that were supposed to be heroic, their heroics just aren't coming out and we could really use those right now. Or, you know, the villain's been putting out more civilians than we thought. I, that's why I need heroics. Or the villain's putting out way more, um, way more thugs than than we thought he was going to. He only has like three cards where he actually drops thugs on the board, but we've seen all of them. We need the punches, and we need them now. Um, so so that that being able to adapt to the situation that that is where Black Cat comes in handy. Um, uh, but yeah, I, I I struggle with her. She she is definitely not one of my favorites. And I think with that, I just, I, I, I find, I find her difficult for me personally to use well. That doesn't mean she's terrible. It doesn't mean other people aren't going to use her well. You might enjoy her. You might think she's one of the best characters. And I'm all for that. I'm just saying my experience has not been that. So uh, that's it for me. Let me know if you disagree. Let me know if you found some really cool ways to utilize her. I'm sure they're out there. Um, but yeah, until next time, keep brushing up your game. And uh, we'll see you later. Take care, everybody.